Hey guys, I'm Jenny Steele and you're watching The Taco. Well, if you haven't already seen John Mayer's new music video for his song New Light, then trust me, you are missing out. How would we describe it? Let's see, it's hilarious, cheesy, weird, ridiculous. Let's just say you have to see it. It basically looks like he woke up, rolled out of bed, and decided he was ready to rock. But that's also why we love it so much. The video, which the artist himself labeled premium content, is basically just him in front of a green screen dancing casually and dressed horribly. And the whole thing starts off with him dropping the line, I'm John Mayer and I'm ready to be a star. The video is so bad, it's actually good. I wouldn't be surprised if it wins some awards because we haven't really seen anything like this before. He's so confident and his music is so damn good that it speaks for itself. The video is just the icing on the cake, so he decided to have fun with it. He posted on Twitter, quote, I needed to make a video for New Light, but nobody could agree on a budget. Music industry, am I right? So I went to a place downtown and made this with a company that usually does birthday and bar mitzvah videos. And this video is definitely done on a budget an extremely low budget. Could you imagine being this production company, seeing John Mayer walk through your doors and casually be like, hey, I'd like to shoot my music video here? Talk about best day ever. All I can say is that this company better be ready for a lot more business to be coming their way. First of all, the video starts off with his last name being spelt wrong. It's probably done on purpose to go with the ridiculousness of the video, but it's priceless. And the whole thing is shot in front of a green screen so that the background can be constantly changed or swapped out to make it look like he's in a ton of different places. But it's not done to look realistic. It's done to look like a joke and look as fake as possible. So we've got scenes of John chilling on a farm, then we cut to him in a kitchen, standing in front of the White House. He's in Paris, on a ski hill, in an office. He's even standing with a zebra. WTF, right? And with every different scene, he's doing some sort of over-the-top cheesy move. From fake walking, to bad dancing, to flying, to rocking out on his guitar. It all has a very cheesy vibe, almost like he's poking fun at the opening credits of old 80s and 90s sitcoms. And then there's his outfit, which is a pair of striped, ill-fitting pants and a faded sweatshirt that says Moon 5. And it's hard to tell if the sweatshirt is dirty or if it's just supposed to look like that. He's got a t-shirt sloppily hanging out of the bottom and he accessorized with bedhead and purple sneakers. And what about the very lucky ladies that got featured in this video? They aren't celebrities, they are just random girls who happen to be in the right place at the right time. Talk about luck. There's one girl with a headset on in the office scene just smiling and nodding. Then we have a lovely lady in a bikini driving in a car with her hair blowing in the wind and finally, to finish off the video, we cut to a girl in a red dress sipping on some red vino while listening to someone on her cell phone. Random girls in very random shots. And the best part is, these scenes are most likely from footage that the studio already shot. So chances are, these girls didn't even know they would be in a John Mayer video. And now, they're probably going to be famous. But in all seriousness, the song is amazing and no one can doubt John Mayer's guitar skills. He's so talented. And at the end of the day, it's nice and refreshing to see an artist not take themselves too seriously. He's letting his music speak for itself, and fans are actually loving all the cheesiness. We all knew he had a sense of humor, but this just elevated him to another level. With John's deadpan face for the entire video and the insanely ridiculous background scenes, there's no doubt this will be the most memeable video of 2018. So what are your thoughts on the video? And did it make you an even bigger John Mayer fan? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe. I'm Jenny Steele, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.